What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy. And over the past couple of days, we have been dealing with serious ramifications in regards to Chris Tyson over at Mr. Beast. Over the past couple of days, these allegations have been extremely serious. It all started off when we ended up having the revelation of a video come out by the creator prism 42 over on youtube that alleged that chris tyson was communicating and discussing things with a 13 year old all the way up to 16 at the time while chris tyson was in college so that age range varies between 18 to about 23 24 they ended up meeting up in a park now lava who was the accused individual there who was the groomed party whatever you want to call it did come out and say that no untoward thing happened between him, Chris Tyson, parents were involved, it's all a board and everything like that. Well, since this accusation came out, we ended up getting another accusation of a 14 year old communicating with Chris Tyson over on Snapchat, as well as we had a series of text messages that have not fully been corroborated yet, but that do show Chris Tyson using his position in order to lure a kid into potentially coming over to him. This kid openly tells Chris that he is the age of 14, so on and so forth. You're seeing grooming situations going on here. Just the other day, we had this young man here, Nathan W., come out and say that he was in the Discord along with Lava and a bunch of other people, roughly 10 other minors, and Chris Tyson would in fact send hentai and appropriate images to said minors. That is a legitimate crime there. You are not allowed to distribute those images to minors. That big no-no. Nathan here also does corroborate everything that he says by also showing a stream that he was on with Chris telling him to take it down. We ended up having Jake the Viking even say Jimmy knew. 110% did Mr. Beast know this entire situation was going down considering him and Sh him and Chris Tyson lived together for two years, shared spaces. There was old videos of Mr. Beast with images for, that were made by Shadman, who was known for making lollycon art over the past couple of days. We've had Famous influencers come out and try to communicate and say, why isn't anybody talking? XQC is one of them. I know Ray has come out here and done some virtue signaling stuff, but she's one of them. XQC, all sorts of different influential individuals have said he needs to speak. Mr. Beast needs to speak. Things aren't going normal. Like your silence is deafening. Just the other day, Chris put out a long statement saying that he was leaving Mr. Beast to go focus on his mental health, and he's sorry that he got caught. Now, breaking news, Mr. Beast has finally responded after three days as of recording this of saying nothing. Over the last few days, I've become aware of the serious allegations of Ava Tyson's behavior online, and I'm disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts. During that time, I have been forced on hiring an independent third party to conduct thorough investigation to ensure I have all the facts. That said, I have seen enough online and taken immediate action to remove Ava from the company, my channel, and any association with Mr. Beast. I do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions. I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and will take any further actions based on their findings. Now, this is very interesting here because there is no doubt in my mind that Mr. Beast knew all this was going down. I, I cannot imagine a world that he did not know any of this was happening. They lived together for two years, guys. He was a part of this. Shadman Art was up in their house together. He had to have known this was going down. On top of that, within the Nathan W video, Nathan specifically says Chris's friends were also within that server, and that server was also used in association with Mr. Beast as well. So I, hi I highly, highly, highly doubt that Mr. Beast didn't know any of this was happening. And the whole idea of a third party uh, getting involved, uh, relatively it move, it does depend. I, I, I must uh, 
request that I think he's going to come out here and say, oh, nothing bad actually happened. But when you get this whole, uh, he's removed from the channel, he's removed from the channel. I'm going to pull something up real quick. And I'm pulling this up because in response to him saying, well, I'm removing him completely from the channel. I'm removing every aspect of Ava Tyson, Chris Tyson, whatever the heck you want to call him from this channel. I bring us over to this X spaces, Twitter spaces, whatever you want to call it, that came out just the other day in which Keemstar and Jake the Viking were in there where Jake the Dang. Viking dropped some very interesting information. So let's let's see what Jake had to say in all this. And big, big news bomb. Apparently, I was I was being told by, from a very reliable source, his percentage of ownership was about to drastically increase after his divorce with Katie went by, went through. Interesting. Jake the Viking guarantees that this source is one hundred and ten percent honest, legit. It is good and in, in uh, inside all this. Jake the Viking, how long ago was it that they got a divorce? Roughly a year and a half ago to two years now. More than likely, that divorce has already gone through. Chris Tyson has a large stake within the Mr. Beast company itself. Makes a lot of money off of that. And the Mr. Beast company, again, is not just a handful of dollars here or there. That is a life brand. That is a brand that owns food to clothing, merch, all sorts of interesting things that go through that brand, as well as an Amazon deal that is worth millions of dollars. We're not talking about lump change here, okay? And not to disparage my friends over at Geeks and Gamers. We're not talking about Geeks and Gamers money here. We're talking about a million dollar company and a million dollar brand in it of itself. So I find it very hard to believe that Chris Tyson is removed at all from any of this stuff. And again, Mr. Beast knew. Mr. Beast had to have known. Mr. Beast was there the entire time. And now he's coming out here doing the PR move, doing the move that I did not expect him to actually do. He's saying that he's going to get an investigation. I kind of call BS. I think that in the end of this, we are going to see a bunch of people come out here, say that, sketchy things went down but nothing untoward happened and it's probably all going to get swept under the rug in the end but that's just my prediction here i don't know what's all going to happen here again this story is constantly evolving constantly changing and i'm gonna be here for every step of the way but until next time guys thank you all for watching this video if you liked it please smash that like button share it out with your friends hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for every time i put out a new video live and i'll see you all on the next one bye for now